The Paneling Tools plugin allows you to create custom 2D as well as custom 3D panel routines. No matter which method you select, you'll need a paneling grid to start with. In this example, I've created one with the Surface UV option. I also have two objects that I'll be using as the custom pattern shapes. First, to create a custom 2D pattern, I'll choose Panel Grid Custom from the Paneling Tools drop-down menu. This runs the command PT Panel Grid Custom. The command line will prompt you to select the paneling points grid first, then enter, then select the base surface, and then select the curves or points, then enter. The command line then gives you options to change the spacing between the units, to choose whether or not to pull the curves to the base surface selected, and whether or not to group them into one selection set when done. And there's the resulting group of curves. A nice command to use in conjunction with this is called PT Fin Edges, and it's also available through the Paneling Tools drop-down menu as Fin Edges. The command line lets you set a distance to extrude any curves selected. Select the curves, press Enter, and then you'll be prompted for a base surface. This base surface controls the extrusion direction. PT Fin Edges is a nice way to create a lattice or structure underneath a paneling routine very quickly using just a group of curves. I'll undo that. Now to create a custom 3D pattern, we'll need a second point grid. From the Paneling Tools drop-down menu, I can choose Offset Grid Points, select the grid, choose an offset amount in the command line, press Enter, and then select a base surface, and that will determine the direction for the offset. Next, from the Paneling Tools drop-down menu again, I'll choose Panel 3D Custom. I'll select the first grid as prompted in the command line and press Enter, then the second grid and Enter. And you can pick two bounding surfaces. If you had offset a surface and created a panel grid using that offset surface, you could select both this original and the offset surface as the bounding surfaces, but you don't need to. You can press Enter if there are none. And then select the objects that you'd like to pattern. Press Enter. And just as in the 2D custom version, we can choose the spacing for the units in this pattern. Press Enter when you're done with the options. And there's the resulting 3D pattern. And that concludes how to make a custom 2D as well as a custom 3D pattern using paneling tools for Rhino. There are other methods as well. These are two very easy ones in which you can use existing geometry.